Have you heard? Alfa Romeo is coming back to the United States and after only a two-decade absence. Actually, the sporty Italian brand, now owned by Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, returned two years ago with the crazy esoteric 4C Spider, but nobody noticed. And yet Alfa Romeo, best remembered for Dustin Hoffman's Spider in The Graduate, is still beloved in America, beyond all reason, really. And it's a good thing, too. It plays a crucial piece in FCA boss Sergio Marchionne's plans for world domination, or at least survival. Now, while you're looking at this lovely B-roll of what I think is the quickest, best-handling midsize sedan out there, let me tell you the backstory. Mr. Marchionne's second five-year plan authorized 5 billion euros to turn Alfa from a European boutique brand into a sport luxury powerhouse with global reach. The 5 bill buys the new super-strong, lightweight vehicle architecture exclusive to Alfa. It has a quiver of engines developed in-house, including, in the U.S., the brand's extra-large pizza, the Ferrari-derived twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6, putting out 505 horsepower and 443 pounds pound-feet of torque between 2,500 and 4,800 RPM. That's 173 horsepower per liter, by the way. Molto bene. And, why we're here, Alpha gets a new halo car, the raging quick-twitch Giulia Quadrifoglio, which is Italian for four-leaf, as in clover, as in lucky, which I certainly was when the PR staff handed me a helmet and pointed me toward the open Sonoma Raceway in California. The Q-Ship is capable of ferocious initial acceleration. 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds. Hold your foot down a minute or so and you will theoretically arrive at the car's top speed of 191 miles per hour, which would be asking a lot of its fancy aero doodads. At 70,000 to start, the Quadrifoglio is aimed at fanboys, buyers of BMW's M and Mercedes AMG and Audi S performance variants. Next year, Alpha will start shipping the cars with 2-liter, 280-horsepower four-cylinders, the TI. I'd be tempted to recommend these less audacious models with all-wheel drive and some sporty all-season rubber. The Giulia is one of those cases when I prefer the less powerful model. Ultimately, romance, even Alfa Romeo romance, must yield to practicality. <laughs>